News Matt in the building. What's good? I hope you're having a blessed day. We got not one, but two big time and important players to talk about in today's video and their situation that's going on with them. And it's interesting to say the least. We're going to cover all that. So if you love the content or love basketball content or anything like that, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and do all that nice stuff. And now, without further ado, let's get into this news. I have to put this out there first. We're going to be talking about Kyrie Walker and Imani Bates. And literally, the main reason this video is even happening is because of you guys. Y'all have been DMing me on Instagram and requesting a video on these topics. I say this from time to time, but I mean this 100%. I literally base my videos off of recommendations from you guys. If there's a big news topic that's going on and a lot of you DM it to me or tag it to me on Instagram, then we're gonna talk about it. So if there is some news or topics in general that you wanna see me cover, feel free to DM it to me on Instagram or you can send it to me on Twitter. Either one works. Let's talk about Kyrie first because that's the one I think most people are curious about and wanna know what's going on and what's the up to date. It's been a very chaotic past couple of weeks for him. There's been a lot of ups and there's been a lot of downs. He entered the NBA draft and unfortunately he did go undrafted, but as of recent, he got picked up by the Washington Wizards summer league team. And he's also officially signed his summer league contract with them and he's on the roster. The Washington Wizards are set to play in at least five summer league games and that's what they're guaranteed, but here's their next four at least going off of what I've seen so far. On this Sunday coming up, August 8th, they play the Indiana Pacers at 8 p.m. Eastern. So that's gonna be Kyrie's first NBA action. And then to follow that up, they play August 10th, 12th, and the 15th. I've been reading a lot of articles trying to find out if Kyrie's a important player on their roster and if they're gonna use him a lot. And sadly, I haven't seen too much of that being said. All I've seen coming from the Wizards and who they're excited to see play is Corey Kispert and Isaiah Todd. Those guys are in the same class as Kyrie, but they got drafted, so they really wanted them. If I'm Kyrie Walker right now, I'm extremely excited that I even got this opportunity. But at the same time, I'd also be pretty nervous. Matt, why would you be nervous? Well, it has a little to do with this summer league is going to define whether he gets another opportunity in the NBA. If he goes out there and plays extremely well or really great, he may get a roster spot on the team. But you have to remember this, that is the best case scenario. You gotta think of all the other options. I've seen multiple times where players play phenomenal in the summer league and they still don't get a roster spot. I think if he goes out there and he plays mediocre or below average, he's not gonna get a spot on this team and I don't know what his next move would be. So for that reason alone, that's why I would be nervous if I was him, and I'm sure he is. Reason number two why I would be nervous, and we've yet to mention, is that he hasn't played real competitive basketball in over two years. The last time he played basketball at a high level was in high school, so his next step will be against NBA players. That's a pretty big difference. I'm not saying he can't go out there and hold his own. All I'm saying is it's gonna be a little different from playing a five foot 10 Timothy to going up against a six foot eight star that's about to be the next big thing in the NBA. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I don't really care about the NBA and I don't even have a favorite team. The only thing I even watched in the NBA was when Kobe was playing. I was a diehard Kobe fan, so you could say I rooted for the Lakers, but once he retired, I just quit watching. And ever since then, I haven't really kept up with it too much. Of course, I love watching the playoffs, but I don't care about the regular season. But one thing I'm fascinated by is to see how Kyrie plays. We haven't seen him play in two to three years and you have this war between him and his haters where his haters say he's washed up, but he thinks he's good enough. So I just wanna see some film and game action. Once again, if you're curious to see how he plays, tune in to the game on August 8th. I believe it's on TV unless this article I'm looking at is lying to me. I'm sure we'll talk about how he plays after that game or his second game. So. Make sure you tune in to that because you know we're not going to hold nothing back. That's pretty much the up to date on his current situation. I did see today where one of you tagged me on Instagram where the Wizards posted a picture of him working out. This only leaves us with one question left with Kyrie. How do you guys and how do I think he's going to play in his summer league games? It's really, and I mean really hard to say just because, and I've said it a million times when talking about him, 
We haven't seen him play in so long. I'm sure he's going to be rusty and he'll probably not even play that much. So I'm expecting him to have six to eight points in every game or at least the first two to three. Let me know in the comment section how you think he'll play and perform. But with all that being said, we got to get on to our next big topic in today's video and that's Imani Bates. This is flat out crazy and as to when I'm speaking, everything is still coming together so I'll just go over the run through. A couple of days ago, Imani Bates announced he is reclassifying into the class of 2021. And at the same time, he also cut his options down to Oregon, Memphis, Michigan State, and the G League. According to Jeff Borzello on Twitter, he said, it's worth noting that Bates is too young for the 2022 NBA draft, so he's still two years away regardless of his next step. If you don't know what that means, he's saying that if he does go to college next year, and that's what he's probably going to do, we'll touch on that in just a second, he's going to have to spend at least two years in college because he'll be too young to enter the draft. Imani will not be able to enter next year's NBA draft. He's going to have to wait till 2023. And one of the four teams that Imani narrowed his options down to is Memphis. Why is that important? Well, Jalen Duran, who is also a top player in his class, announced today that he's committing to play for Memphis. And now it's being speculated and most people believe that this weekend, as early as maybe Saturday, which is tomorrow, that Imani could announce he's going to Memphis too. If Memphis lands Imani Bates and they already got Jalen Duran, they will literally be one of the biggest super teams in all of college basketball. They already have other good recruits coming in and another four star. And I don't even know how people find this information out before it gets released, but they somehow are always right. There's already been people saying they have sources confirming that they're going to team up at Memphis. It's almost looking like Imani going to Memphis is already a done deal. This hasn't shocked a lot of people, but it's been somewhat a surprise because everything's happening so fast. I do agree with Bates and Jalen Duran reclassifying because they weren't going to get too much better at the high school level. They've already been dominating it for the past couple of years. So what's the point of staying there again? Going to the college level and playing there, even with being younger, it's going to benefit them in the long run. I only see nothing but positives from this situation and Memphis, if they do get Imani, this will be the biggest win for them in a long time. Memphis is crazy about college basketball and this will be the most excitement around their program since John Calipari and Derrick Rose. I wouldn't be shocked if Imani makes his decision tomorrow sometime or maybe Sunday, so stay tuned for that because it's going to happen. Let me know what you think about all this down below in the comment section. But with all that being said, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. If you're new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family. Hit the subscribe button and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out, yeah. Peace.